TheBreakBodyVision.com. Thank you, Steven Seagal, for stopping by. Boy, I can't believe Muggs kicked his ass. He was a good cook, too. He got out of shape, though. Yeah, Muggs just like, <laughs> yeah, laid up the that's smackdown that's on here. Somewhat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most unique, bizarre, weird, and handsome sports show in the history of all of the times. Starring one weird doctor with a fantastic shirt and one honorable mugs who chose not to wear yellow today on Pirate Wednesday. He goes against the grain, folks. That's why you watch him at home. That's why. This is the sports report for... <laughs> 12, 12, 12. 12, 12, 12. And it's not 12, 12 a.m. or p.m. But I got a doctor. This nutter right here is going to bring you all the pro sports in a little bit. But first, here come the judge. Here come the judge. This, all right. This may be our biggest story as we've been covering local, local sports. Yes. Our biggest story. The There's question no is... Bucks. I'm going to say the question. You want to ask a question? Ask yeah, a question. Because I got long sleeves and you got short. Both available at Maddie's 2303 Jackson Street, the reimagined. Can Dunmore make national news, Judge? Well, we'll find out Friday. The Dunmore Bucks are playing for the PIAA Single A State Championship against the Clarendon and Bears, who are currently riding the nation's longest winning streak in high school football, 62 games. That's, that's running since if Riverside beat them, right? It's been it's. Clarendon has not lost a game since since when the since President Bush was in a 2008. Jeez. The end ending of the season was their last loss. And then as soon as President Obama took office, the Clarendon Bears have not lost a high school football game. Uh, that's oh. a pretty impressive feat considering we've had two elections since then. You know, so it's like the last time the Eagles won too, right? Uh -huh. But um, <laughs> any. We all know what Dub we all know what Dubmore's got. They're 14 and one. They're gonna try to chew that clock, keep that high-powered Clarendon and offense off the field like they did with their last two games against Bristol and Bellwood Antons. And uh, uh, like we said, like you, you gotta run the ball. We gotta run. Dubmore gonna win. They gotta run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. That's what they do. Uh, you, you know what they're gonna do, uh, Bellwood. Uh, this Bellwood Antons. Antons. Atlas. They're ready for it. They knew, uh, and previous to that, you know what Dunmore's going to do. They're going to yeah. run it. The thing is, can you stop it? Can, can you can you stop it in the second half? Because that's yeah. when Dunmore takes over the games. Oh yeah. I, uh, once the fatigue starts to set in, that big old line starts leaning so, on you. Especially in single A, when you don't have as many players as you would in a quad A or a triple A. But the key here is in this game: can they make it to this? Can they get it into the second half? Because I mean, Clarendon just they just. Run rush out through their opponents. They've scored. They can score it well. They got a Penn State recruit, uh, a guy who's thinking about going to Penn State, and Tyler Boyd. He's uh, he's the uh, he's the uh, super Superman athlete they have. Don't forget one thing though. Coach Hensis knows championships. He's been to the dance. He knows. And you got a little experience there. He's been there before. Uh, can Dunmore do what they've done to their previous opponents and force turnovers? Yeah, it's not looking like it's going to be a weather game like the last. Like yeah, last week it's a or so. it's a different atmosphere. It's it's not a Friday night game. It's a Friday afternoon game. They're going down. They're gonna, they're playing the game one o'clock Friday afternoon at Hershey Park Stadium. Uh, game is on uh, PCN. It's not on. It's uh, channel one eighty six. If you have that, if you have that Comcast. We'll see. Buckley and Seaman, can they do it again? Can they have an all-state offensive lineman? Uh, the great yeah. offensive lineman. Or, or Jeski, yeah. Oh, he's the anchor. And Drew, Drew, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see Dunmore defense. We'll see if they can step up and make a name for themselves. We yeah. all we know what the two-headed monster running back can do. We'll see. Yeah. Let's go with the Bucks defense, yeah, right? It's it's on Dunmore's defense to to keep the game close early on. And they don't have the whole. They don't have Dunmore behind them. They have all of Northeastern PA. Yeah, yeah. and they'll, they'll have. Like that underdog. I mean, if, if the, the underdogs, they'll, they'll, the Dunmore kind of been playing that underdog role the last few weeks. So. They're used to it. Oh yeah. So we'll see what happens. So that that's Dunmore football. Go Bucks! Bucks. I graduated Dunmore. Yes, I know. The Moose graduated from. Dunmore. Here I graduated. We were state championships, and now that we have a show, they're going to play for. So it's gonna happen. Destiny. Yeah. Des density. 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 Test. All right.
Down and out? Having a bad day? Go to MattyVision.com, where smiles are not only guaranteed, they're also free. So go around and explore, have some fun, learn something, and who knows, you might even make a friend. MattyVision.com, we dream big. I got, I got some other stuff I want to get to. We got to talk some uh, high school basketball here and high school wrestling. It's They're underway, but believe it or not, but it is what it is. I mean, we're, we're about five days into the season. We've already had some very impressive performances on the hardwood. We had uh, we got to start off with the big shell, though, from Abington High. Well, it's a big shell. The, uh, the, the spotlight game on opening night was Abington Heights and Holy Cross. Both Holy Cross! That's what they were saying by halftime. Yeah. Uh, holy something else. Yeah. That game. Yeah, they're they're yeah. both state they were both state ranked. Holy Cross was number one in double A coming in and Abington okay, laid the smackdown. JC Shaw had twenty two points in that game, a fifty five thirty win from Abington Heights. And uh, we also I'll tell you what, you go up and down the up and down the Lackawanna League. It was we get we gotta go up and talk about a kid from Delaware Valley, Brent Fragola. He had 55 points in two games. The double nickel! It, against GAR and East Stroudsburg North. Gar! Much like R. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, j just uh, and, uh, nearby, and uh, good old Holly from Wall and Paul Pack, Jake Brown had the best single games performance of the opening weekend. He had 38 points in one game. Yeah, Jake. In the Holly tournament up there in Paul Packy. And he added, he added to it with another 25 points in the championship game. While Paul Pack wins the Holly Tournament, their tournament. 63 points in two games. That's a pretty good performance, don't you think? Nice. And uh, how about, uh, now we don't, now obviously the Dunmore football players are not going to be playing basketball until they get done with their game on Friday. But uh, a guy by the name of Matt Clark is holding his own up there. Matt Clark? Matt Clark. Sure it's not Matt Dempsey? No, it's, it's Matt Clark. Always a Dempsey. There's always a Dempsey, there's always a Clark, there's always a Rinaldi. Yeah. <laughs> but Matt Clark in two games has carried the load for Dunmore. Two wins over North Pocono Valley View. He scored 45 points in two games. Wow. It, uh, it's like he said, he's, gonna be ca he's carrying the torch right now for Dunmore until they're, uh, the, the big guns come back. Very nice. And uh, a couple other, uh, got to talk a couple girls here. Uh, Western Wayne, Bruce Wayne, right? Mm. Bruce Wayne. Never heard of him. Oh, Batman. Bruce Wayne, yeah. It, there's a, a nice little sister combo up there at, uh, in Western Wayne. The, the Carmody sisters, Rebecca and Rachel. It, it seems like it, it, there are three games so far. The two, two of those girls have combined for 94 of their points. Holy smokes. It, uh, it, uh, it was a seven, and in a 73-64 win over Holy Cross on a, I think it was Tuesday, Tuesday last night. They, they, they had 42 of the points. It was a 73-64 win. Rebecca had 22, Rachel had 20. They split, they almost split the difference with that. So, and, uh, a couple other girls here. Uh, defending District Two AAA champion Holmesdale, Mary Martin. At M and M. She had 26 points in a in a rematch game with Dallas, the team that Holmesdale beat in the district final last year. She had 26 points in the Plymouth Tourney Championship game against Dallas, which was a 55-44 victory for Holmesdale. They're, awesome. They're 2-0 to start the year. Uh, we also got to mention a, a West Side girl. We got a West Side girl we got honored. West Jane, Side? Jane Joyce. J.J. Yeah. J M. J.J. And R&R, &R, Rachel. What a double letter. Yeah. Show. Jane Joy, uh, 24 points against Myers on opening night. It was a 56-51 win for the Lady Invaders. Awesome. They are cur they are currently one and two on the year. They lost. They went down to the Plymouth tournament as well. They dropped two games down there, but it's early in the year. Everybody's kind of in a similar boat. And uh, the high score for the girls in the opening weekend from Wall and Paul Pack was Alex Ronan. Roman. She had 30 points in a game against East Stroudsburg Notre Dame. What can you say? Already a week, we've had some very good individual performances from our hardwood players. It's going to be a good season on the wood. Also, we also expect a good season on the uh, the mats. Oh. -ho. And if you smell <laughs> what the judge is banging. Yeah. 
Anyway, uh, you thought the R and R's and the J and J. You think that was crazy? Abby tonight's talk about a carpool. Does JC Shell also wrestle? No, he does not. Run, but, but that would have made a better show. A, there is a nice carpool at Abington Heights. They at the Nazareth tournament to open the weekend to open the season. They crowned three champions. Two of those, two of those guys. His name is Carr. Here in my car. Mike, right. Mike Carr at 160 pounds and Matt Carr at 145 pounds. And they have another kid on the team. His name is Nick Carr. So, like I said, talk about a nice carpool you got up there. Oh. Is waiting all day for that one. That's a good one. I like that one. Could be the new Jonas Brothers. Yeah, they uh, so the, so Mike and Matt won their respective weight classes, and Nick's Nick's uh, Nick Sanuk at 138 pounds, also a champion for Abby tonight's up there. Uh, also uh, Delaware Valley, of course Delaware Valley. They return a, a boatload of wrestlers from last year's team. They were second at the Cumberland Valley Individual Tournament. That's an 18-team tournament. And they had two guys play second. That's as high as they got. Uh, Jalen Palmer, 138 pounds, and Martin Strank, 150, 182 pounds. Strank, I think, was the big fullback for Delaware Valley on the football team. And I, they have a couple, a couple other good football players on it. Uh, Markowitz, one of their wideouts. Connor Decker, I think, also wrestles the tight end. So th th they are also stocked. And uh, the city schools, Scranton and West Scranton, have. Scranton's wrestling team won the Catasauqua Duels. They were 5-0. and oh. They had four wrestlers go f won each of their five matches. The two of note were Josh Doherty and Jim McNally. And McNally played football for Scranton. And they all went 5-0. and oh. They had five matches. They all won them all. Four, four, what can you do? I mean, you start there. Yeah, and uh, West Scranton, they were fifth at the Saucon Valley Tournament down in Lehigh County, down in that Lehigh area. You gotta wrestle in the Lehigh Valley if you're gonna be successful in this area. They had three second place finishers, Stephen Capel, Jason Manning, and Cameron Van Wert. Uh, also, uh, also before I do Gang the Babel here, we do have to uh, pay our condolences to Malin Mosler from Blue Ridge. A tra tragic accident yesterday with the, up there with the train. Uh, very sad. He, he was actually a wrestler, he was gonna be a wrestler this year for Blue Ridge at 160. So, so our, our condolences go out to him, his family, and his friends up there. Uh, that's all I have the time. That's all the time I have for. Uh, we also want to wish the Falcons well this weekend. Big win! They got put in a tough bracket, but you know what the Falcons do? Just win, baby! Hopefully, we get a little reports. We'll get one more show before Christmas. Well, you know how the Falcons did. Gavel is bang coming up after the break. This handsome fella right here with this spectacular shirt on. It's available on Manny's on Jackson Street. Yes, yes. New selections and sizes coming tomorrow. Gotta take a break. I got lost there, so take a break. <laughs> Certain team. Yeah, another former uh, Red Sox. His name is Kevin Newflis. 
Kevin, it was a $12 million deal for one year, for one year to replace A-Rod. So maybe it'll play half, half the games, probably. You know, A-Rod might come back and be a little more dinged up. Yeah. But to, to sign an aging veteran who has had a, Oh, whoa. Cut. <laughs> this is what's wrong with baseball. They showed on on our competitor Sports Center today. When you became a Chicago Bear, your job was to beat the Packers. I saw that, yeah. When you signed on the Packers, your job was to kick the uh, Bears' ass. Yeah. You but, wait, don't sign show. the most hated player possibly in Yankee history, Kevin Euclid, to play for your team. Yeah, oh, they hated him. Uh, well, I hate they, him! You know, they still do. Uh, I'll say, I, I don't know a lot of Yankee fans who are happy with this deal. It's going to be weird to see him without that massive goatee, isn't it? That's yeah. what I think it's going to be weird. It, it's December. I don't want to talk baseball. But we're talking baseball now, Mike. That's the way it is. Luzinski, Rose, Pinnell, we're talking baseball. Uh, you, you to the Yanks. We'll see what happens. $12 million, too much. He's too old. Production dropped too much. And George Steinbrenner is rolling what over What about Eric grave. Chavez? That's what I'm saying. We're gonna go on. We're gonna go on to America's new sport. The Dodgers football. have spent some more money to get him too. I know they should. Have. All right, let's yeah, talk some football. Do. Rumbling, stumbling, bumbling. All right, we have three weeks left. Yeah, so this 15, is 15, 16, 17. Three yeah, weeks. This is this is the week. This is showdown Sunday. Showdown Sunday. Uh, a lot's gonna be determined after this week. Uh, you know, one team that no one's really, a couple teams that are flying under the radar in my opinion. One is uh, the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much. Uh, they almost wrapped up a, a playoff berth already. Yeah, they, they, if they beat the Bears on Sunday, they yeah. win the NFC North. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a good chance that's going to happen. But we're not sure if Cutler's going to play yet. And the Bears have been teetering uh, the, yeah. Yeah, the past uh, few For, This could be the first team that start a season 7-1 mm -hmm. and miss the playoffs since mm -hmm. the Redskins in 96. And if you remember 12 months ago, I think they were still undefeated uh, at, at this point. They, they almost went 16-0 in the regular season. Yeah. Uh, their defense isn't that great. They need to get Clay Matthews well, back and Woodson. It's been a... Uh, uh, $100.50 dollar fifty. We're shooting TV shit right now. You're standing in front of the camera. You're lucky he's a Falcon. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this Falcon player was brought to you by the world famous Matty Store, 2303 Gatcher Street. Counter's right over there, buddy. They're $1.50. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll get it going again. Big front call. Uh, uh, we're, we're, yeah, but we'll, like we said, Packers have been yeah. kind of lying in the weeds this season. Yeah. But they're, they're nine, like we said, they're 9 and 4. They can win the division yeah. this week. What do you want? What do you? What, they, they, have, they do have to go to Chicago, but I, I think the, the Packers get it done. Right? I think the Packers get it done, and it, it seems in the NFC East on, on the other side of. Uh, oh, you have to side. feel you have to feel bad for the Giants yeah. to, to be. They were they were that close to having a stranglehold on this division. Oh, they were that close. It seems like each team wins. You know, the Redskins, Cowboys, and uh, Giants win in the same week, and they lose in the same week. But but, but week, like but the, but the Redskins and Cowboys. Had to make miraculous comebacks. Yeah, pretty things, much. things that you, I mean, the Redskins with a backup with their backup quarterback Cousins, and the Cowboys are down nine with five minutes to, five minutes left. You don't think Romo's gonna do the job for him, but he but he does somehow. When you say you don't think, who? You mean you? I don't. Th I didn't <laughs> think he would get. I didn't think he was fit to get the job done. Yeah. But he got the job done, and they, they squeaked a, a W and the, again. The Cowboys put the Cowboys are Redskins. Now, with all fairness, the Redskins are without RG3. I think who knows if he's going to be playing this week. Yeah, I, I have a feeling he might try to gut it out. Uh, you know, they have man, they, they have drawn a huge, wide, a huge wave of momentum right now. The yeah. Redskins, so uh, they can't be looked at. They really can't. The Giants, they, they seem like they're getting back to normal. If, if you watched the, yeah. the game last week, they're dominant again. Uh, I, I know. I, I still like the, the Giants to somehow find a way out. And Dallas has to play the Saints, and we're, we're going to be, you know, there's, there should be a team playing for pride. they got to play Pittsburgh this week, and they end with the Redskins. Yeah. But it would be great to see a Week 17 Redskins-Cowboys game. If one of them wins, they're in. Yeah. I, I think that can still happen. Yeah, there's, there's enough crazy things. But the, the, but the more the things get unique, the more they stay the same, because I think we have a, we had our good friend uh, Tom Brady. Not my good uh, friend. Uh, yeah, they had that big game in uh, Foxborough. Yeah, yeah the, the Texans. The Texans are all like, "Oh, here are our varsity jackets. Yeah. We're the best team in the NFL." They, they Brady's uh, like, "We're the best team. Don't come into Foxborough <laughs> with your varsity jackets and think you're worth a dang." Worth a dang. 
they weren't that day. Family show. Uh, they got beat pretty bad up in Foxborough. But because I don't know, Patriots just don't seem to lose there. Not, not, not in the regular season. They, they, they'll have another chance to prove it. They're playing the 49ers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that'll be a big one there. That'll be a big game there. And, uh, Let's make it clear. Brady's not no friend of mine. He's no friend of mine. Brady ain't no nope. friend of yours. He ain't no, he's no friend of, of your mine wife's, either. though. Yeah. My wife's a communist, though. She's <laughs> communist. Yeah. How about the Colts? They pretty much wrapped up uh, playoff berth. Yeah, they, yeah, they were the benefactors of the Steelers and Bengals losing because now the the Colts have that. Ad, I mean, the Colts have to play the Texans two out of these last three weeks, but they have that insurance policy now. Yeah, now. they got to win one game out, 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 out of those big, three. Yeah. And, and, and of course, the Steelers and Bengals play each other in Week 16. So yeah, like, if the Col- if the Giants were the biggest losers last week, the Colts were the biggest gainers, the biggest winners. Denver, 10-6. I believe someone predicted at the beginning uh, of the season that they'd be in the playoff. N- now, they, they did lose that big game. to uh, All the, three losses were against good teams. Yeah, but it, it seems like they've hit their, they've hit their uh, stride here, it, look, it looks like. I mean, the, the, thir- the Thursday night game doesn't count. I mean, nobody's been playing well on Thursday night this year. It's a stupid tradition. It's a new tradition that... We would, we would like to we'd all like to see scaled back. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, like, Thanksgiving, 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 but yeah. after that, that's... I'm telling you, they're going to push it to was it this every week? night of the Cincy week. And, uh, Philly. Cincy and Philly. Yeah, uh, the, oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad, I, I'm glad I'll be, my mind will be preoccupied there. I, I don't want to see the Is Eagles. Is friends still on Thursday night? Well, we'll be watching tomorrow night. Then. You know you'll be watching that game. Come on. No, I won't. Well, no, I will be watch. watching the Cosby show. I'll be, wa- I'll I'll be watching... See if there's a college basket or, or a pro basket, or any anything on. I mean, any basket. I mean, if the, if, the Nets, Brooklyn, if the Brooklyn Nets, even though they lost last night, even that's a good game. Yeah, Jason game. Kidd with the with the three with the three pointer. Are the Knicks the best team in the East right now in the NBA? Didn't Brooklyn kick their butts last night? No, no. The Knicks won. The Knicks, oh, the Jason one. Kidd. They shut it off early. Jason Kidd yeah. had a big three. At the I'll end even end. I'll even watch the Lakers. But regardless of how bad. It's bad enough you couldn't wear the yellow shirt. Now you're going to endorse the Lakers? You're going to endorse the Lakers? The Lakers. Oh, anything that beats the Eagles. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's kind of... All right. And this leads to one, one question that everyone's wondering back home. Who wins, Dallas or Pittsburgh this week? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you got? I'm not Who predicting it. Dallas. Who knows? It's going to be a landslide. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh going to take one step forward. They take two steps back anymore. Karma. Karma. Good I think Dallas. Creation. I think Tony Romo throws for 450 yards. That'd be amazing. You know, Pittsburgh has defended the pass well, so Dallas is going to have to run the ball. I think he throws. And Pittsburgh's going to have to score some points. Yeah. Not that. Yeah. They're not going to stop the Dallas offense. Yeah. How does the Pittsburgh lose? I mean, that's karma losing to the Chargers. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I not many. All that, that that was the even with Charlie Batch at quarterback, you know. He, he wouldn't, wouldn't that was that was impressive. the survivor pool's uh, cursor uh, blessing. It was. It was. Yeah. All right. That's all I got for today. Anybody else? That's it. Well, then this has been the sports report for 12, 12, 12. Good luck, West Side Purple Pride Falcons. Kick some booty, buddy. Win or lose, it's all about fun. Just remember that. You have been watching the sports report. That's Honorable Muggs McLovin. This is the doctor. I'm a DJ, and this was one weird show with a weird random walkthrough that I couldn't recover from. That was weird. But we have fun every week. Tell your friends, kids.